I'll send the cloud, the holograms, bring ruin in my hands until only I stand atop the Helios One Tower again. I'll scour over dam with the cloud, rain its walls with spears from the sun, with an army of old world ghosts behind me. Holograms all, I'll kill them until it's only me, me alone in the quiet world. Hello everyone, we're back with Old World Blues, Hearts of Iron 4, and we're playing as the Hidden Valley Brotherhood with Father Elijah at the helm. The mad genius, the man who could tame the Sierra Madre, if it wasn't for the courier. Well, the game starts before he's ousted from the Brotherhood, or actually lost during the Helios 1 fight. So we will be Elijah this time, and using his genius, we'll dominate the world, or at least the surrounding area. I like stars that are small, like this, and that have to struggle at the start. And Elijah is a pretty great character. Also, do let me know if you've had enough of Old World Blues, because I'm really deep into this mod and I can't stop playing it. But if you want to see something else, do tell me, please. But for now, the Brotherhood of Steel, under Elijah's enlightened leadership, shall rain fire from the sky upon their enemies. Not Iron Man, because it's a mod, and mods can be quite unstable sometimes. Historical focuses, average difficulty, Elijah. Well, let's go. I have scaled down the interface a bit. Uh, one thing I don't like about the mod is the interface. And I messed something up and got those video icons that don't do anything. Well, we'll just have to bear with it. It annoys me. Right, so we hold Helios 1 and the Hidden Valley, and the NCR will try to take it from us. But we won't let them, will we? There's only two points where they can attack. If we prepare enough, we should be fine defending all of that. Because for now, defend is all we can do. Focus is the Wasteland's last great mind. Yeah, as usual, at first we have some decisions to make. Oh, we only have stripped power armor. How disappointing. We have Elijah's determination that decreases power armor production cost, which is nice. Ooh, and research speed. I wish they used the portrait from the holograms. Oh well, we have Bunker Blues. It's fine. Factories. Actually, we need to prepare for a fight quickly. So should we make more military runs now? No. Let's do civilian factories, as usual. Boost infrastructure, boost factories and so on. Now we have 460 days to prepare for the fight with the Mojave territories. And we need to get an intelligence agency as quickly as we can. Right. Oh, five research slots. That's a lot. Slave colors. Uh, I should definitely try and get better power armor, boost our research and color language. Oh, we can research the holo rifle. Is it good? Well, it is decent against power armor, it seems. And some industry. Speed up. Oh yeah, maybe we can speed the game up a bit. Right, custom game rules, never mind that. 8% stability or war support or 5 of both. Let's take 5 of both. Stability is more important to us right now, but let's keep going. I need more power armor. Journey to the Mojave. Oh, we get to choose if Elijah cares for Veronica. Sure, I think he does. A bit. Maybe we should make her a field marshal. Would be funny, her ruling over these guys. Right, some more civilian workshops. Civilian factories are usually a better choice because they take more to build and you can use civilian factories to build military factories. Alright, so I'll analyze the focus tree. We can get a significant economic boost but go slower or we can rush forward. And then we can choose Helios, allying with the various neighbors we have against Mojave territories or sabotage people. I think Elijah could succeed with Helios if we only had more time and we'll make it happen. So first let's optimize Helios and get more power armor units in the field. Get the agency going, some operatives, there you go. I decided to build some fortifications in the places that will be attacked. If I can click them with this many units around. Not sure if going on the defensive is the good choice, we'll see. Let's hire the political mastermind. More troops. Next up, armed workshops. Golden Gecko Company. Let's hire an operative from here. Oh, no skills. At least he's local. Looks like I'm gonna have to buy some water from the NCR to prepare to fight the NCR. Let's get extra stability. The Brotherhood would never accept the followers of the Apocalypse, and especially Elijah. So no. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Seize followers fort. Extra civilian workshop. Let's raid their supplies as well. I actually want them to be out of our lands. Testing the bear. We still have some time. I'm gonna make Veronica a field marshal. Smooth talker should work. We shall survey Repcon. No, I need support equipment. We don't have that. Not sure why this reduces my stability. Right, I want them to leave. So let's divert the supplies. Perhaps that'll be enough. We'll lose some stability. Hmm, if I have to actually build these outposts, I should start doing so now. We have uh, rejected the followers of the apocalypse. Excellent. That is what I wanted. We actually need to lose that stability, apparently. Trials and tribulations. Preparation, which I'm not sure how it works. Manpower or research bonuses for power armor and infantry tech. This is tempting, but I'm actually going to take the manpower. I think we need it the most. Scavenging. And now we choose ally with people, which is pretty nice. Sabotage the enemy. 
or focus on Helios 1. And you're playing as Elijah, so we have to focus on Helios 1. God damn it, the ghost is my agent. Well, I guess I'll just have to sacrifice him because I don't have that much support equipment and I won't for quite a while. Maybe you can hold out. Need more power armor. I think I have trained enough units to easily resist the NCR attack. Castle the bunkers, but I will build some outposts. Once we're done with the operation, I'll try to rescue the operative, if he's still alive. You don't have much time left. Recon data. Lead on a vertebrate graveyard. Right, but first I need you to give me intel on the Mojave territories again. Go to Prim. Let's make Harden the chief of army. And we got their cipher. Excellent. Deploy the last units, and that should be more than enough. Now, apparently Sniper will probably not affect power armor units. Commando should, though, with the supply grace. Let's give him inspirational. Same here. This will do. I should be stronger than the Mojave territories right now, but we will not attack until we actually activate Helios. Stop your exercise. Get ready to fight. I'm only making anti-tank rifles because they're in the template and I don't have army experience to get rid of them. Our armor is the most important now. Hey, two suits per day. And this is for operations. We're about to be at war. Operations on best. We'll manage. The mountains here are helping. And here it comes. They attack us. And we're holding. Should we do last stand? It's probably not necessary. We will if we have to. Ooh, the damn busters. We should hold out. Yeah, we're in the green. I did build a couple of outposts, probably not enough. But I did build some, it's certainly helping. Although I thought we would have an easier time. Ah, and they stopped attacking, excellent. Oh, just for a moment. Still, we shall use spears from the sun. And with how we're holding on, I should have enough time to finish the research. Also, I'm not sure how the preparation works exactly. Oh, here it is. Division organization, recovery rate, attack, defense, and so on. Right. Can I switch my economy now? Not enough world tension. Well, it's almost there. I guess I can wait a little bit longer. Hmm, probably should have hired the military theorist earlier. I would have enough army experience to uh, remove the anti-tank battalions. Ah, oh, that's fine. I really build up a big army, and we're just holding on. Well, not just, but the NCR has more strength than I thought. Veronica is level 2. More attack. How are the casualties? We're doing well enough. Ten for one. We can let them exhaust themselves. Probably should build more of these outposts. No, because now there's a lot of troops here and I can't even click it. Maybe from the spy interface I'll be able to. Nope. Oh well. We'll have to make do with what we have. Oh, we found H&H &H Tools. That's actually a pretty good company. Industrial research and construction. Well, that can wait a bit. Weapons expert. How's my spy network? Too low. Let's go with flexibility of movement this time. Man, they stopped attacking. Good. We can now do other stuff. Like arm Helios, where is that option? Maybe if we wait another day? Oh, a combat ability, so we should be in the general's option. Here it is. 80% offense and defense. Cool. So all I need to do is activate one of these guys and fire Helios with that. Are we ready to do that? Now let's get armor blueprints. Yeah, I think we are ready. Activate the attack. Activate the cipher. Oh, actually, this is a general ability. So I need all of my people to be in one army. It's fine, we can do that. Harden will lead them. Oh, McNamara. I should check who has the better stats. Oh, McNamara actually has slightly better stats. So he'll have to be the leader. See, after firing, we need to wait for some time. Uh, if it wasn't for the cooldown, I'll just use it on both generals. But there is a cooldown, so I can't. Okay, I think we're good to go. Go aggressive, activate the order, fire Helios 1, and activate the cipher. Oh, we already activated the cipher. Okay then, they won't know what hit them. Well, Helios, but let's see how well this works out for us. Well, preparedness could be better. Attack modified to 285%. That should suffice. We are progressing, it seems. We're about to break through here in Good Springs. Rather next to Good Springs. Make sure to not leave undefended territory. Ah, we got a cross. You guys, run to the capital. Just this one unit. Or not. Well, we ran out of the Helios boost, but I'm gonna keep being aggressive for a while longer because I also have the Cypher active. Life giver. We're about to get Good Springs. Good. When can I use Helios again? Not for a little while. Looks like I might have split my forces a bit too much. Well, the Cypher is still active, so I can keep attacking, I suppose. But I should have concentrated my forces more. Like you, stop attacking. It's actually gonna take a while for Helios to recharge. Perhaps I should be saving my resources a bit more. Then again, the Cypher is giving us a boost. Rescue the operative. Hmm, maybe I can even get to the Hoover Dam. I don't find it likely, but it would be nice. What are you guys doing over here? Getting Quarry Junction would be nice. The most important thing is that I do not lose any territory. Now, Hoover Dam is defended. Maybe I'll get it if I take Boulder City. I don't really need need more power but it is also a strategic location i suppose all right and you guys can hold out yeah, you're not going to take the ranger station stop the attack hold novak and nelson for now can we get to boulder city oh no you stay here oh, we can get to boulder city which means we could encircle these guys if we play our cards right i'm being too aggressive aren't i yeah probably but it's going well so far and the cypher is still active 
encircled. Oh no, you guys should not be attacking. Well, I did set them on aggressive, haven't I? I'm still worried that I'm wasting resources with this attack. Here, and here, and here. Right now, especially the quarry junction one, I shouldn't be doing that. I'm gonna switch them to balanced. They shouldn't be attacking on their own this way. You're not getting very good supply, are you? Get the cipher again. Ooh, we got pushed out at Novak. It's fine, as long as you don't get pushed out more. I think I should concentrate on the north first. No, oh, Prim is undefended. Well, they're reinforcing it. We're almost done with them. Excellent. Kill the encircled units. Next up, get Hoover Dam. Why are you getting attrition so much in here? Total attrition 30% from the state itself. So I think there's too many units here. Oh no, I can click on the state. It's just because there's a storm and also it's very hot. Well, that's quite unfortunate, isn't it? Let's get... Hmm, what should we get? Probably manpower, but for now let's get the extra civilian election. Actually, stop all attacks. We'll wait for Helios and also the Cypher simultaneously. Or we could just use Helios now. Hmm, perhaps we should use Helios now. Just with a couple of units, not too many. Activate Helios. Perhaps we'll take Hoover Dam in that week of intense attacks. Although this looks like a mistake. The Helios boost is over, but I think we will actually take Hoover Dam. Senior Knights, I do need the manpower. Desperately. Now, will I have to defend Hoover Dam from Caesar? That would be quite unfortunate. And we got it! I think our next avenue of attack shall be towards Camp McCarran. Or maybe Bitter Springs. We'll move some units around for this. Prepare your plan. This is a slow and tedious war. Oh, they're actually attacking me. Perhaps I shouldn't have pushed out to Good Springs. Might even want to abandon the area so that I can push more here. But this way they also have to mm, commit more troops. Song for the front. Do I need more war support? Not really. I would like some political power though. Got the cipher. Now let's wait for the cooldown of Helios to be down. Oh, I forgot I can get extra manpower with this. I will use that. Yes. Time to attack. These guys are attacking, I'm going to activate the Cypher, and I'm also going to activate Helios once again. And with this boost, yeah, you should all be attacking, at least all of you in this vicinity. But just the northern bit. It's gonna take a while before I can beat them completely. But with this, I think I'm about to get Camp McCarran and Vault 3. That Helios is quite powerful, isn't it? And now I can attack Quarry Junction from two sides at once. Which should actually give me access to Quarry Junction. Okay, this is going well enough. You, attack. Oh, we ran out of Helios, but we still have the Cypher. Make sure to keep the other borders secure. Now with this I should be able to wipe these guys out. Renovated power armor. Do we even spend army experience to get this faster? Well, actually, power armor is central to our battle strategy, so I probably should. Let's do that. Okay. Still have the Cypher active, so we can continue the attack. And they're definitely cut off from supply, so quarry junctions should be ours soon. How are we doing with the surrender progress? Still quite a while. Most you guys. You guys can stop the attack. Yeah, now we concentrate on the quarry junction. Oh, I read this as legendary operative captured. Legionary operative. That's fine. We'll take quarry junction, then we'll take bitter springs. And if that's not enough, then we'll push towards Novak. More manpower, please. And also... Oh, can't do every cup for the army yet. Oh, did I take too many factories from them? Because I can't switch to every cup for the army. I should be able to do that. What are your factories? I have 32 and you have how many? Oh, I took too many factories from them. Probably on Hoover Dam and all that. And now I can't switch my economy. God damn it. Oh well. I guess I'll go to well-equipped army. We'll keep pushing for Quarry Junction. And it's ours. But these bits of territory here don't really have any victory points. So I think our best course of action is to take Bitter Springs. And if that's not enough to win, push towards Novak afterwards. Let's take five of these guys, because five will be enough to stay here, and get them to this border here. This should be enough for everything. Also, I was wondering why I need so many anti-tank weapons. Turns out the militia I'm using to garrison stuff has anti-tank support for some bizarre reason. So let's change that. Just one militia battalion. We will add dogs later. So make sure the garrisons are very thorough in what they're doing, because we're getting lots of resistance. But this and this and this seems not worth it with the cost and political power, so I'm just not gonna do a focus. Now, we're under attack, but I don't think they'll breach us. No. And Archimedes is down. Are you ready to attack? You should be. Activate Helios and attack. Take Bitter Springs. And then we'll move the forces down and take Novak. Well, that's very quick. Oh, that was enough. I thought I was going to need Novak, but this is sufficient. All right then, I shall annex everything. Do have any fleet? No. Okay, good. What else do we get? We can antagonize the NCR and they will get a war goal on us or we can get a truce with them. Of course I'm going to get a truce with the NCR. I can't just fight everybody. All right, good. We have the territory. But there is um, <laughs> some resistance. 96%. Prioritize the garrisons. Increase the production of guns. Well, this will have to do. Victory at Sunburst. Elijah is no longer obsessed. He will now be respected for what he achieved. Well, and all of you are going to be using... 
our armor, switch them to paladins. Now we have to consolidate our power and we also do have to be wary of Caesar, because the first battle of Hoover Dam might be coming for us. We don't need to worry about the NCR, we have a truce with them, but we don't have a truce with Caesar. I'm not delusional enough to think I'll beat him, but we can hold him off. So this gives boosts to my generals. I wonder if it's just the story generals or new commanders if I hire them. So let's hire new commanders as well. Spend all our command power, we have lots of it. Fortify yourselves. Well, those are river crossings, so I should easily repel the invaders. Decrypt the legion. Now, the agents, we need to send a mission to continue the search. Vertebrate the graveyard. Although I will send one guy to the legion. I need to core these territories. Let's get dogs, they're very helpful with suppression. Get the extra manpower from these. It is really helpful. Victory at Sunburst. Now we have to choose our capital. The Hoover Dam. We get electricity. Helios. We get civilian workshops. And Hidden Valley. We get armed workshops. Helios it is. Ah. Archimedes is ready. Come at me, Caesar. Although I'm not sure his attack on the Hoover Dam will actually happen, but we have to be ready for it. Yeah, we can repair the turbine, sure. Now that I need more power, let's invest. Border skirmish at the dam. Well, the manpower decrease is very unfortunate. We can prepare against the Legion, but this is far away for us. I'm gonna save up some political power. If Caesar attacks indeed, I think we can repel them until there's a truce, and we can use that to boost our economy and manpower. Time to start breeding dogs. Fortunately, it's quick and easy. Integrate them Mojave. Now, if we add dogs to our garrisons, this is going to boost the suppression very significantly. So let's do just that. Of course, now we'll be missing dogs. How many do I need? A thousand. It's fine. We'll produce them quickly enough. As far as I know, this is the most efficient template. It takes very little manpower and little production as well. Lost an agent. Lost hills are conducting us. Nice. Is Caesar actually gonna leave me alone? Perhaps I should start expanding. Like attack Mr. House or something. Though he is attacking Sky Reavers, so let's wait for the resolution of this conflict. Ah, the Legion Master. They do wish to attack us. Well, I'm ready. Come with me, Caesar. Battle of Hoover Dam. The first Battle of Hoover Dam. And they declare war. Actually, I could probably push through. This is undefended. Do we want to or do we stay in our fortified positions? We can get a truce. We might. But what I can also do is do every cup for the army, because I'm at war with a powerful enemy, and boost our manpower. Guess I'll advance into his territory a bit. You guys hold the river. Volunteers? Sure. I'm not well equipped. I shouldn't be pushing. I'll only push it to the dam, I suppose. And actually activate Helios, because we can. And reassign some troops to this attack order. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna attack a bit. If he's not defending himself, why not? We can get some factories, at least temporarily. Although... I'm not under no illusion that I'll defeat the Legion, all of it, as my current strength. I can push a little bit. Maybe he will petition me for a truce. That would be nice. Expand the 188, because this gives me cores, and cores are wonderful. They're attacking, but they're losing. Investigate the Vertebrate graveyard. We get Vertebrates from this. But lose stability. That's interesting. Sure. Lost Hills volunteers. Oh, they look well equipped. Money. Is that enough to boost our spy agency? It is. More agents, please. Okay, you guys can retreat a bit. Well, we got the weather monitoring station, at least that. And we did. Oh, it's not worth anything. I shouldn't have pushed. We wasted resources. Well, you guys just hold the territory. Stop your advance. We might push a bit later. Now, how expensive was that truce again? 175. We should probably get that truce. I was thinking of maybe going up to scribes here. But doing that and then waiting for the truce, that's pretty expensive. And it's not like we can actually beat the legion. We can hold them off, yes, but not beat them. Well, at least I used Caesar to boost my economy. You guys really should retreat to Hoover Dam. Pushing past the dam was a mistake. We wasted resources here. Although defending the dam and the monitoring station might be easier. So I need that truce. Well, we did get the cipher. Well, let's use it just to minimize the casualties. Yeah, we are taking some casualties in the attacks. Let's ask Caesar for a truce. I already used him to boost my economy. And I can't defeat Caesar. And he accepts. Okay, then. August 78. We have a year and a bit. This will have to be sufficient. So we have a peace with Caesar, we have a peace with NCR. I can start expanding now, which means Mr. House or the Divide. Now, is the NCR doing stuff to get claims on the Divide? Because if they do, it's gonna be a problem. But if I get there first, we have a truce so they won't be able to attack me. And the Divide is very good territory. We can always deal with Mr. House a bit later. I don't have the political power, we'll have to wait a bit. Where are my cores? I need the cores. Control Nipton through fear. I'd rather core it, but oh well. Yeah, these are core states, so the resistance should just disappear now, right? Well, it is going down. And I got the manpower finally. Let's justify on the divide. Now, I know from previous games that the NCR tends to attack them, but I don't remember when. If I am faster than the NCR, I can take over the entire country. And this is some juicy territory, lots of factories. And the nuke silos. New Vegas attacks Sky Reavers. Oh, right. Whoever wins will take them next. We can get Area 51 and New Vegas in one war. 
if it's resolved. The risk in attacking the divide is if we don't take territories that the NCR has claims on, then they might never attack us. We have a truce with them, but if we take territories they have claims on, then they will surely attack us after the truce is over. So it's a, you know, mixed bag. Is House winning? House is winning. A traveler from Yuma. We got that a bit. Schematics, excellent. So what's next? Yuma Caves. That's quite far. Sure. Build up the network. Renovated Mojave Expedition Power Armor. Better Power Armor is always welcome. Let's go further with this. Power for compliance. We have tons of power, so yeah, that makes sense. Ah, NCR attack the divide. Well, that was a waste of time. The divide will surely lose, and taking just a bit is not worth antagonizing the NCR. So let's cancel this and go after Mr. House instead. With help from Helios, he should be no trouble at all. Ah. Enough dogs. Excellent. If House can get Area 51, it'll make my life much easier because I'll just take it from House. Let's get H&H &H tools, construction speed and industry research. We can switch it to something more exotic later on if we so choose. Prospectors, extra army experience, make sure to build up our core states. Research slot from Elijah's ambitions. Oh, justification for New Vegas is ready. That happened earlier than I anticipated. Okay, I think I am prepared. Bad. Also, the NCR is at war with the Divide, but not much progress has been made. Right, House, let's go. Aggressive, activate Archimedes, declare war on Mr. House, and justify on the Sky Reavers, because we'll take them next. Now, if I'm calculating everything correctly, I should have an easy time conquering New Vegas. House is strong, but he is fighting another war, and we do have Archimedes. And yes, New Vegas is down for. That was very quick. Excellent. Is there going to be a peace deal immediately? That was almost disappointingly quick. And here's the peace deal. Now, Sky Reavers also have a stake in this. I'll start with Nellis to cut them off and contest everything. I do have more points, so I should be able to maybe get everything. I will try, if we're shrewd enough. Alternatively, I could puppet house, but that's not what Elijah would do. So, New Vegas is mine. New Vegas was annexed. Elijah was right, apparently. Even got an achievement for it. And I even got a trade node. Excellent. Go get the Sky Reavers next. As for Vegas itself, we'll have to exploit it for all it's got. Dogs, guns, power armor. All is well in the world. Explore the Yuma Caves. All these operations should let me find some very interesting technology, eventually. One thing I don't understand, right, these are not core states. These are occupied state, but what is a colony state? Oh, I can core it. Is that what it is? Might be. Although it's not a very good one. Maybe later. Now, when we take out the Sky Reavers, we might start getting attacked by people like the White Legs, who are absolutely terrible assholes. So I think we will need to take them out, but for that I need more power armor. Sky Reavers should not be a problem, especially if we use Halo Helios again. Have enough guns, have enough dogs for now. Now just give me more power armor. And it's the basic stuff, so it doesn't take much to make it. Let's increase our stability with prioritizing consumer tech and consumer goods. Legionary operative. Here we go. Oh, we've explored the Yuma case, so what is next? Did this just finish? We've bypassed the Jewel of the Mojave by taking out House. Steward of Vegas for better planning speed, or we can get New Vegas as a core and add five civilian workshops. Of course, I'm gonna pick this option. We could prepare against the Legion. How much time do we have until the Legion is hostile again? We still have some time to prepare against the Legion. Let's work with Benny. I still have Elijah's Great Surge, but I don't get any new operations, which is weird. Investing in industry and research. Ah, justification is ready, and we do have Archimedes off cooldown. Deploy an extra unit, so we have a full contingent. And are we ready to go? Kinda. I think we're good enough to go. Declare war and activate Helios. Oh, Archimedes, it really was a good decision to take it. Crush the Sky Reavers. Oh, we get the bonus for industry tech. Nice. And we're getting almost infinite power from Hoover Dam. Oh, I should have used this to save up some political power when I was changing laws. Oh well. Oh dear, yay. All good Murphy, elected president of NCR. Perhaps he'll be friendly towards us, or at least not hostile. Right. No need to be aggressive anymore, not without Helios. Go balanced. Fallout from the Yuma operation. All right, maybe we'll get something else. Uh, stay the course, maybe that will unlock some other options. Bricks. Research the advanced technology of bricks. All right, this is going well. Just don't be too aggressive, don't waste resources. I still don't have enough power armor to outfit them all properly. Veronica shall be a sneering imperialist. Hmm, expression for technology. Sure, I mean treasure. Sky River Cypher is revealed. Let's wait a bit to combine it with Helios. Or rather, Archimedes. Yes, man might be nice, but I think we'll benefit more from getting Vegas as a core and getting extra factories. Also, we can use the current war to switch to scribes as the manpower lock. It'll make our army a little bit weaker, but I do need the manpower. Helios is about to be activated soon. Let's do the cipher now. That'll boost us a bit. And then with Archimedes, we can push through the river. Here is Archimedes. There we go. And be aggressive. Push with everything you have. Oh, they're doing desperate defense. God damn it. Well, Archimedes is spent, but we did make some progress. Back to balanced. 
Oh, I could have combined false attack with Helios, I think. Skyreavers are a tough nut to crack. Perhaps we should have gone after these guys first. Oh no, I didn't actually have a border. We enlisted the families, which gives us a core on New Vegas. Prim Slim. Interesting. I think what I need to do is prepare against the Legion. Our community is ready. Deploy. We can't combine it with false attack. It's fine. It's strong enough on its own, apparently. Be more aggressive while it's in effect. It's no longer in effect. Should we keep being aggressive? Well, we're having a good thing going. Use the cipher. Keep pushing. It's going well. Hiya. The surveyor. This is looking good. Let's cut them off from Area 51. After we're done with the Sky Reavers, we have to start preparing against another war with the Legion because Artros is about to run out. But I'm working on it. We got Area 51. This should not take much longer. Sky Reavers are defeated. Of course, I'm going to annex everything. I suppose I could have set up a puppet to save myself from raids, but raids don't matter that much. And I do want Area 51 for myself. Okay, time to prepare for a Legion attack. Let's do Improvisation Expert. That can help on rivers. All right, secure on the border with the Legion and see if Caesar does anything. So I suppose I can get some outposts going. That's ah, fine. There's a river. It should be enough. Also, we'll get Hoover Dam itself fortified with a focus. So tribute from the 80s. Well, I don't like the raid. See, the problem with the raids is not the raids themselves. It's the stupid border war mechanic, which I hate so very much. So I will not be pushed around. But uh, I wish there was a way to deny the border walls. Because what do I care about a small raid if removing troops from the front lines will just let Caesar conquer me? Oh, new rumors to investigate. Yay. We're now finally well equipped. And fortified the dam. A month and a half until my truce with the Legion expires. We'll wait until the truce is over. And then if we don't get attacked, I'll just uh, keep an eye on Caesar with spies. And hopefully we can see when he is doing a work of some sort. And we can do a Securitron heist. Cool. Sons of Kaga annexed TV Town. TV Town is a juicy morsel for us to grab. Just not yet. All of us tools. Assembly line for power armor. Truce is about to run out. What will you do, Caesar? Oh, we can train against Legion tactics. I missed this. Um, yeah, let's do that. Should have done it uh, a bit sooner, but maybe they won't attack, at least not immediately. Under just seven days for 200 units of power armor. This could help a lot. Seven days is nothing. The divide was annexed, and we no longer have a truce with Caesar, and he is not attacking us. Cool. Can he actually attack me? Hmm, I might be safe, at least for a while. Another seven days for a hundred power armors. And finally, we have enough for all our troops. We should probably train up another army. We should probably research heavy lifter bots and get Securitrons. Let's get extra power to Archimedes. What did you find? Boosts. More training against Legion tactics. Oh, this is just a gradual thing I have to keep doing. Well, good thing we're not fighting each other now, then. So how fortified is the dam? The problem with making territories so small is that I can't click on the Hoover Dam when there are troops there. Can't select the place. Okay, there we go. So it's supposed to be massively fortified. This is not massively fortified. Los Hills. Hey, nice. Yeah. Fortifying all points of contact with the Legion. Might do the same for the NCR. We'll see. Oh, and we can call Hoover Dam. Let's do that. God damn it. I was just sending this agent to retrieve my other captured agent when she was captured as well. All right. You go to Shady Sands. Just stay there and rescue the rest. Extra paladins deployed. Harden? I think we should attack the White Legs or Sons of Kaga. The White Legs aren't busy. It would be easier to defeat them now than later. Let's do that. Yo, Harden. Go take them out and exercise. And the final doctrine. Not sure how reserve power in Archimedes works. Maybe we'll be able to get two shots? Let's try and... Explore the the big empty, is that what it's called? Big mountain, something like that. Send the scout team there. Train more against Legion tactics. I am out of room for special forces. Let's get better power armor. Our industry is fine. Midnight science fiction theater. Our troops are whisked away with a teleporting satellite. We found our ultimate treasure, the big mountain. There's a lot of cool technology there. Oh, so that's how this works. So we have to spend political power to unlock these things. I don't remember all of these, but I know I want everything. I think Higgs Village had something to do with a lot of technology. I mean, it all has a lot of technology. Let's start with Higgs Village and see what happens. We've secured it. We can do the focus now. This is going to cost me a lot of political power. Fortunately, we have some. As a war goal, Harden's troops are almost ready to advance. Oh. Small bonus to construction. Not that great. Let's get some extra manpower from Legion slaves. I'm actually gonna send some troops from Hoover Dam to help with this attack. Justification's ready. Stop your exercise, get ready to attack. You guys ready yet? Almost. All right, I think we're good to go. The game thinks they have an advantage, but I don't really see it. Anyways, let's declare war. And Harden this time is gonna get the benefits of the Archimedes weapon. There's a river crossing, so I guess I can give McNamara a little boost to the river crossing. It won't do much. All right, let's see how well we do against the barbarians. 
And we're doing very well against the Barbarians, good. Now I'm leaving myself open to an attack from NCR. I should probably fortify these areas too. This is going splendidly. I think we should attack the 80s next. They have a lot of territory that we can use. And they're also in a war, although they'll win their war. It's going very well. Ah, we got the Legion Cipher. Excellent. Let's do the Cipher Expedition. Not sure what it will do other than give me army experience, but army experience is pretty important. Doctrine complete. Boosting up our armor troops. The White Legs should be surrendering soon. And we can fire Archimedes at them again. Let's do so. Hmm. Caesar doesn't seem to want to attack us, at least not now. Well, that's good. Yeah, and we lost a unit. That's terrible. Ah, excellent. White Legs are taken. Don't really need puppets. Although perhaps I should play a game with puppets, but not, but not this one. New Canaan wants some stuff. We're not gonna let them. We have slightly more points and that's all we need. It's based on how uh, taking a province increases its cost in subsequent rounds. So if we play this right, even if we have only slightly more points than the enemy, we should be able to get everything. Right, time for the 80s. New Canaan <laughs> demands territory. Yeah, sure. Are you actually going to attack me? Well, if they do, I'll kill them. We'll attack when Helios is ready. Or not. New Canaan just attacked us. I wouldn't want the war goal to expire. We have one and a half months to defeat these guys. Well, New Canaan, you made your last mistake. They should thank me for killing the White Legs who were killing them. But no, you chose to be stupid. Oh well then. Well, that's how religious fanatics are, I suppose. So you shall die. I'm not worried about New Canaan. They're weak. The only problem is I might lose my war goal on the 80s. She's think the Devil's Brigade. I have no idea what that does. Maybe we'll get advanced power armor from this. That would be nice. Let's try. Although I don't think we will. New Canaan is better defended than I anticipated. I think we have to kiss our war goal goodbye because I don't want to be fighting them at the same time. A small loss to stability is not a big deal. Disaster at Camp Searchlight. What the hell is that? Nuclear waste casks. Oh, I know what that is. And it's terrible. Could we have prevented this somehow? It truly is terrible. I could try and fight New Canaan and the 80s simultaneously, though that seems rather silly. That's not. Then again, they seem to have insufficient forces to cover the entire border. Maybe I should be fighting both of them. It will be rough, but we should be able to handle it. I'm gonna give this a try after all. We should be able to handle it. I'm thinning my garrison with Caesar a bit, but it should be okay. Move off. And go to balanced for now. Right, temporary boost, not too great. And more stability. Better dogs for better suppression. Now, I don't think I'll defeat New Canaan with such meager forces here. I should be able to hold New Canaan. Also, let's cancel these attack holders. We should be able to defeat the 80s though, because they don't have enough troops. So we'll kill the 80s, then we'll go back to New Canaan. At least that's the plan. Will it work? We'll see. Okay, time to declare war. Aggressive Helios, or rather Archimedes, and the Cypher. Crush them in a decisive, fast attack, please. And declare war. Go. Be a bit more aggressive, maybe? You do have Archimedes powering you up. Okay, move, everybody. Good. Excellent, even. Make sure to keep being aggressive. See, I do love using Archimedes on the initial push, because it really, really destroys their defense early on. And then we can just sort of lean into the blow. Yeah, I think this was a good decision. We still have the border with Caesar garrisoned sufficiently. Ooh, this is not good. You, there. We've concentrated our forces a bit too much in this area. Silly new Canaan. The front line is a bit too long for me, but it is also too long for the enemy. I need to retreat from here. Push a little more. This is chaotic and it can turn bad, but it shouldn't. We've done the chasing the devil brigade focus. But I have no idea what it's gonna bring. Time to keep scavenging. New Canaan is a bit of an issue. Why zero? I don't remember which bit does what. Be close to surrendering? Oh no, you're not. This guy's gonna get cut off. If only I had some more troops. Where did all my manpower go? Probably garrisons. Must be the garrisons. Alright, the new Canaan has pushed back a bit, but we should be done with the 80s relatively soon. Oh, Mr. T. Mr. T's burger. Continue. Oh, Sierra Madre. We finally got the rumors of the Sierra Madre. Excellent. I was gonna open up some focuses and more political power. Well, that means rumors of the Sierra Madre can be done here. I mean, we wanna do both things. But right now, Sierra Madre is more tempting. How are you guys doing? Not as well as you could be doing. Fire Archimedes. Just a rush to victory points. It should be sufficient at this point. Ooh, we need more dogs. Way more dogs. All right, let us all the Wendover. Oh, stand security solutions. What's that? Hmm, nice. And finally, the 80s have surrendered. Excellent. We have more score, so we'll get more stuff. Possibly all of it. Got it all. Now, as you go, guys, time to die. Go on, destroy New Canaan. Now, the Vipers want to be killed. Whoa, every unit leader attacks kill. Cool. Brotherhood scouting teams. Let's get some more commanders. They're about to get promotions. Nothing is sacred, of course not. Let's exploit it. New citizen care package should be useful. And now, destroy New Canaan, because they have the audacity to attack us. Ah, oh, Cypher. Perfect. New node. Right, New Canaan is much tougher than I expected them to be. 
Still, we'll kill them. Let's get Knight Taurus. For better supply. Song for the front. Political power or war support? We have lots of war support. Political power. Study stuff. And Archimedes. Boom. Let's research some robots. We might have a use for them because we're not that great on manpower. And switch the occupation laws a bit. I think the special forces supply grace 48 hours and does affect power armor. I'm not sure. I want to take that one. Oh, almost ready. This is going very well now. Extra paladin, please. Previous one got killed. Mysteries of the cloud. Okay, weapon of mass destruction. We'll only use it for defense. How about the chained dog? Yeah, Cypher's ready. Activate. I wanted a burst from Archimedes to finish them off, but it might not even be necessary. You take new Canaan. And they are defeated. Got some guns. Nice. Will I get to recruit Joshua Graham? That would be nice. Also, give me your boats. Excellent. Now, will some other idiots try to kill me? Possibly. Right. McNamara and his 20 paladins will secure all our borders with the big bad guys here, while Harden will be attacking. Some rumors, repair turbine, secure stuff, send out prospectors, do all that. Let's take out the protections next, they should be an easy target and provide us with some resources. Chain the dog. Hmm. Let's use them well. I need more manpower, which means I need more cores. For which I need more political power. Is the scarcest resource for us. For now though, let's continue. Ah, Archimedes cooldown is down. Ooh, they're getting a lot of attrition here. Radiation storm, yeah, that will do it. But they have power armor, so they should be fine. Boost power armor. Trade node resurgence. Sons of Kaga attacking the Vipers, that might actually be good for me. Because I can take over the area by just attacking the Sons of Kaga. Ghosts of the past. Cloudwalker power armor. Oh, Death Scream. No, don't. Don't play the Death Scream. No, it's playing it. Finished a whole bunch of research. Wait a minute. The composite power armor is supposed to be more advanced, but it's actually worse. Well, that's a pity. Will I get the holo rifle? I could research better energy weapons, but I'm actually gonna leave this alone for now, because I might get this from a focus. Boost our industry a bit instead. Mr. Handy. Oh, interesting. We could switch to Helios Brotherhood. Some stability. Now I want to get this done. Then again, the stability will be nice. Reduce patrols in territories with 100% compliance. Actually, reduce it more. Looks like the NCR and the Legion are not too keen on fighting me, which is great. I have no need to fight them right now. I have better targets, and they are a bit strong. The Vipers are next. Sons of Kaga are a good target for me. I should be able to handle them. Although I might need some more troops first. That better power armor should help. Justifications are ready. Do we want to go after the Sons of Kaga yet? Kinda. Sure. Let's do Protectrons. Declare war. Activate Archimedes. Destroy them. Oh, cancel. Oh, I need to be at peace for this. God damn it. Gala event it is then. Raid from Vipers, but Vipers don't exist anymore. Got almost all of them with the help of Archimedes. They are pretty tough though, but I'm almost there. Just take their capital and that should be sufficient. Got heavy lift bots. Now, Sons of Kaga might be a bit of a tough nut to crack. Or maybe not. I thought they would have power armor, but apparently they're just savages. Well then, that's good. We have a lot of robots. We should use them. We can make an entire army just of support robots. Let's, and I'll leave them to garrison the area when we can use the paladins in a better way. Protectrons and Mr. Gutsies that we've captured. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. We're gonna replace our garrisons with those combat robots. That's better. And exercise robotics expert. Now, two armies of paladins. Paladins are better, but they're not that much better, actually. It might be better off just using the robots instead. Well, I do have building system my paladins. And they are quite nice. So I'm gonna be using both. Also, maybe don't exercise them. Don't have that many robots. And I'm not producing any. Hiya, the scribe. The gala event. This is all replaying and the uh, New Vegas DLC dead money, but now with Brotherhood support, which means quite a lot actually. Let's do the holo rifle. Then again, how long until I get the war goal? Yeah, I can do this focus. Build more military factories. Depends how many. 48 military factories. We have 40. So build 8. Hmm, not something I want to do, but the organizations might come in handy later. So why not? Oh, sounds of Kaga are attacking another target. Could be good for me. Can we get the holo rifle? Former Vault City is fighting the former whatever that is. New Reno, then something like that. New Reno. Get some Mr. Handy's going. Those robot units sure are nice. I have a war gone, but I want to wait for them to take the jackals out. Whoops. Holo rifle. What do we get? Oh. So we only get division recovery. Well, it's a nice bonus, but I thought I was going to get the holo rifle technology. Well, let's continue exploring the Sierra Madre while we conquer people. Also, in that case, we do have to invest in that technology. Heavy lift bot will give me access to Mr. House's schematics. And the sons of Kaga, well, they're ready to be killed. Let's conquer them. Attack, activate the cipher, and activate Archimedes. Also, let's grab Vault City. 
Because we can. Huh, 60 days is a bit fast. Oh, wait a bit. Go. And the Sons of Kaga stand no chance against the Brotherhood. Actually, we should be called the Archimedes Brotherhood. This is helping us so much. Child's play. Just for on Vault City. What do we get now? Factory output 33%. Are you kidding me? Well, that's a lot. Alright, continue. And we're just fine on Vault City. Archimedes ran out. And we're not pushing fast enough. There we go. And they have laser weapons. Nice. I shall, of course, take everything they have. As usual. Seems like my justification on former Vault City is actually pushing them back in their war, because they're garrisoning our common border now. Time to be more open to traders. And we get extra division organization from holograms. Okay, the serum matter boosts are very powerful. The cloud itself. Mr. Gutsy. And we'll be able to get access to Mr. House's tech soon. But the Sierra Madre is more tempting. Wouldn't it be interesting if we finish this focus tree and Elijah suddenly gets dropped in the vault and we get a new leader. Right, we have our Wargle on Vault City. Let's not delay, attack them immediately and justify on the former new Reno. Also, Archimedes. Attack. That's extremely quick, as expected. Harness the cloud. Strategic bombing. Okay, interesting. So we would have to actually use strategic bombers to harness the cloud. Let's finish this focus tree and see what it gives us. Get me Vault City. Oh, the resources. And there it is, but we don't actually have the most points. But it hardly matters because I'm attacking these guys next, so I'll get everything. I'll still try to get everything now, just not very likely that will succeed. Who knows, maybe I'm underestimating how much you can game the system when the peace conference is uh, extended. Maybe I will actually get everything. Hmm, maybe I will. Do you know why it works like this? Because uh, the peace conference normally takes five turns in the base game, which has its drawbacks and sometimes there's unclaimed land, which is a problem. But here we have 10, which means double the points, but the AI still acts as though the peace conference was supposed to only take five turns. Which means if you have a decent amount of score, you can just take everything. Ultimately here it wouldn't matter, because I'm still going to take everything. Because I can. Get ready. The greatest hero, more stability and war support. Alright, Vera Key's last performance. What do we get? Voice given shape. Unlock the vault. What do we get? Vera Key's becomes a unit leader. We get her as a hologram. Oh. Okay, and what do we get? Lots of money. Well, that does make sense, it's a casino. How good is Vera Keys? Very. And she has an animated portrait. Nine attack. That's insane. There you go. Lead my protectrons. I'm gonna be a robotics person. That was strange. Some schematics. New citizen care package, as usual. Oh, I missed I can do this. How this ultimate treasure might give me security on technology. Or it might not. But if it does, well, that would be great for pacification. We're ready to take on the Chimeric Consensus and spread our influence further until we defeat the new California Republic and Caesar's Legion, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, it would be a problem at this moment, but not for much longer, especially with all the buffs from all the focuses. Unfortunately, this is where we have to end this video. Why? Well, because, sadly, something got corrupted in this playthrough. I'm not sure what, but since my last break when I turned on the game, every time I unpause the game in this save or the autosave, because this is not Iron Man, so autosaves also exist, it just quits the desktop. I thought it was a game version function, tried to roll back and all that, didn't help, and starting a new game works just fine. So sadly something in this playthrough is just corrupted. Fortunately I can still have a look around while it is paused. So I will tell you about the plans, and that I had. Well, our most important antagonists are the New California Republic and Caesar's Legion, but we have this under control. I have dispatched a lot of robots, we should hold them long enough for my paladins to arrive. In the meantime, I would just expand into weak targets, like all the small ones around us, because we can and we can easily beat them up, all the while spending our political power to finish fitting out our uh, laws as we want. We're lacking manpower sadly, but we're getting houses schematics right now, so I'm pretty sure with that we could get Securitrons, which are great for keeping the peace with houses ultimate treasure, and that would alleviate manpower troubles and we can also field more robots to round out our forces. Another way to remedy those troubles is to core stuff, and we can core quite a lot, we just need some more political power to do so, and not even that much. We can core Nipton right away, like this. And that will of course help with manpower. Sadly, when I unpause, the game crashes the desktop, so we won't see the effects. Review the army, we have two full armies of this, which is not perfect, we don't have enough of those troops, um, but power armor is limited by special forces limits. Ideally, I would round this out with some robots, because with houses schematics and all that, we would soon be able to field sentry bots, probably. 
or maybe even Mark IIs, or Securitrons, which are also very good. What else? We would get Roboscorpions. I'm pretty sure we can get Roboscorpions from uh, the events that we have with the uh, Big Mountain. While I think Sentry Bolts Mark II are better than Roboscorpions, they are both valid. And Roboscorpions are slightly cheaper to make. In conclusion, in just a year of time, we should be able to field quite a lot of Roboscorpions alongside our Brotherhood Paladins, or maybe Securitrons, or both, or Sentry Bots. Right now, I'm doing some Mr. Gutsies to send them to the field. Now, it's a pity I can't really continue this. I've tried, I've tried multiple ways to continue, but sadly something is just corrupted. Still, I think we have achieved what we needed. We have the Sierra Madre and the wonderful bonuses it gives, and with just a little bit more work here, we would get the Robo Scorpions to round out our forces, or Securitrons, or both. After that, some more little conquests to pass the time and get more um, industry and more resources, while we core territory for manpower. After that is done, we can easily face New California Republic and Caesar's Legion. If Caesar's Legion or NCA attacks before the time is, uh, you know, ready, before we're ready for them, I'm pretty confident in my fortifications because I have fortified the border with the Legion quite heavily, and those are only small bits of territory that we need to guard, same with the NCR. After dealing with the Chimerian Consensus, the border would be much longer, but we do have the forces to spare and guard it. So expand north and east until a conflict is inevitable, because I'm pretty sure we can grow faster than Caesar's Legion and NCR isn't growing at all. And once they force the conflict, we would just crush them, I'm pretty sure. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Am I doing too much Old World Blues lately? Do tell me. I think I will go back to vanilla for a while, but I do have more mods to try, and those mod the playthroughs have actually rekindled my love for the game, because I was kind of bored with vanilla, but those full conversion mods do bring everything into, you know, a new perspective, and thanks to them I can have fun again. I might try one of the Great War mods next. If you have suggestions, let me know. I have something lined up already, but maybe you'll suggest something better. Right, I'm sorry I can't continue this, but it is what it is. Right, thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. And before I end the recording, let me give this one last try. I'll unpause the game, and the screen will probably go black, because it will crash to desktop. So let's see. I unpause, and that's it. Okay, goodbye.